Welcome back! We've refueled the shuttle and taken care of the nanites in the stomach, which means it's time for us to move on to the other source of nanites we found. The brain, which I am guessing is where Sharpe is. So let's insert the program disk again. Why is that cracked since we got it from the guy who actually created it? Why did he need to crack his own software? Yep, we took care of that, leaving only that, so let's go. Does the shuttle actually play that fanfare when you uh, press the button? It'd be cool if it did. I want a car that plays a fanfare when you turn the ignition. There we are. Stellar's brain. So, let's uh, get back into the EVA suit. Don't need the helmet this time, but I'm going to take it with me anyway. I don't know why. Because it's the only way to close the door, I think. And I'm neat like that. I want to close the door. Oxygen tank still doing its job of making the doors hiss. Let's take a look around. This is the Meninges. It's a three-layer cover for the brain. Check out the cool blood vessels. Cool. It's the old grey matter itself, our friend, the brain. At least some of us are familiar with it. I don't remember seeing you at the meetings. For some reason, you're drawing a complete blank on information regarding the brain. Yeah, I don't think Roger ever needed it before. We're gonna have to get down there, but the Menenges is in the way. It's pretty tough. It manages to resist your manly efforts. And apparently our bare hands are not gonna do the job. Um... So we need something sharp, the only two options we have for that are um, the paperclip and the fingernail, and it's actually the fingernail that will do the trick here. You slice away with the nail and amazingly enough manage to cut a slice in the barrier. I hope that's not harmful, Stellar. Well, Dr. Bellows is able to patch up all the damage we and Sharpe uh, did to her after we're done. Okay, let's move on along. Whoa. There is a hole blocking, blocking our way. Yikes. How am I supposed to jump across this one? This is the Meninges. Oh. Don't comment about the hole. Anyway, you just jump across it by jumping across it. Not sure if there was any intention to have a puzzle here or anything, but there isn't one. We use the as cool as it would the uh, fingernails to climb up. No, can we use the? Oh. And you were so close too. I didn't even know you could actually fall down there. Actually, you just need to repeatedly click up here until Roger crawls out. Man, that was close. Yep. Uh-oh. Those nanites are huge, but, well, I've already commented on that. But they also do not look friendly. Holy captain's log, Batman. There are a few more of those nanites here. How am I going to handle this one? Nice mood lighting. I guess. What is this, an elevator? It's an elevator built by the nanites to help gain access to the interior of the brain. Yuck! After all we've been through, now you say yuck. I'm sure those nanites will just ignore us. 
or not. So close, and yet so far away. How embarrassing to get wasted by the laurel and hardy of nanites. Okay, what can we do to deal with those guys? What you actually need to do is throw rocks at them, or gallstones, as the case may be. I don't think I can hit them from here. But not from here. You need to walk into the background and hit them from there. Hopefully, we can uh, smash them down or something. You chuck a gallstone at one of the robots, causing it to think the other one did it. Well, we can't kill them this way, but we might be able to trick them into uh, fighting each other. You chuck another gallstone, this time at the other robot, who also thinks the other one did it. You see, this is why you don't give your robots personalities. It's just a bad idea. That was quite effective. That was very impressive, Roger. I'll bet that's not something you hear every decade. Come on. Considering the number of times we've saved the universe, must have heard it a couple of times. The self-deactivated nanites now pose no threat. It all worked out for the best. So, let's uh, head down this elevator. Hmm. It's a recently constructed shaft between the hemispheres of Stellar's brain. It's a recently con... Okay, let's uh, head down then. Wait, there's a sign? So this is the motor control center. I didn't know the brain came with convenient signs indicating the function of everything. More signs. This sign says this is her pleasure center. Hmm. You'd think that offers some interesting possibilities, but there's nothing you can do with it. And the other two signs, well, this isn't even really a sign, but anyway, give the same message. Another sign. Interesting. The sign says this is Stellar's cough control center. Indeed. Oh, this is her Choice of Men Center. It looks a little odd. Well, that explains everything. Mm-hmm. This is strange looking. Used pieces of nanite hardware as well as some stuff that looks vaguely like mining equipment litter the area. A huge pile of debris is standing in front of what appears to be some sort of passage. Light pours through the opening. This is strange. A small opening between the brain wall and the debris pile allows a small amount of light to escape. I guess we need to go through there. Since there's no sign of sharp aid just yet. But we can't. Can we move this debris pile? Your effort to move it is futile. This would be a challenge for you, even if you were full-size. No. What we need to do is, once again, enlist Stellar's aid in moving that. But how could we uh, get her to move from here? The answer is, you need to activate one of the um, areas of the brain and Actually, you need to do that to the cough center. I don't think you actually can do anything with the uh, the others. Not even the pleasure center. Would have been like an instant orgasm button or something. Would have been cool, but you can't do that.
Well, you need to poke the paperclip into her brain to make her cough. At the cough center, which is this sign. <coughs> because that's apparently how the brain works. Who knew? Well, I certainly didn't. And that has conveniently moved this pile of debris out of the way. So now we can go through. Um, for which we need to use the hand icon for some reason. Down we go! Well, looks good. Uh oh. That's sharp HV music. Ugh. I guess we found her! Ah! Even in this suit, that hurts like a... Jeez. What's going on here? And what's with that big robot? Well, well, Mr. Wilco. I must confess to being impressed that you made it this far. You are either a very lucky man, or the classic case of how looks can be deceiving. I think the latter. From what I know of former. your history, I can't say that in this case looks are necessarily deceiving. On the other hand, I don't think luck accounts for it all either. There's definitely something different about you, Mr. Wilco. It's a pity, though. I'm afraid this is where the odds catch up with you, Roger. I do hope you don't mind me referring to you as Roger. I feel we can both be on a first-name basis now, since we will soon be sharing such intimate moments. My rebirth and your death. Not necessarily in that order. I'll attend to you in a moment. I have a few more little details to finish before I transfer my consciousness into this body. Enjoy it, Roger. It'll be among the very last of your memories. Oh, and by the way, escape attempts will prove to be futile. You will be incinerated if necessary. Jeez, what a bit... I'm sorry? What was that you were saying? Me? Uh, I was, uh, uh, I was saying, uh, what a bite! Yeah, I had a little trouble with some parasites a while ago down in the digestive tract. Uh, that's all it was. I save. Also, big mistake, Sharpay. When the hero shows up, you kill him immediately. You don't give him time to think of a plan. You ever read the uh, Evil Overlord list? It's the robot Sharpay is using, just as Dr. Bellows told you about. Welcome to the Cerebral Cortex. It looks like someone's been mining brain matter. Because that's apparently how you take over someone's brain. Also, I thought it was pronounced Cerebral, but anyway. It's a lovely pile of brain matter. A conveyor moves freshly dug brain cells to the top of the pile. Let's try and make a, a run for it. Yow. Guess she wasn't kidding about escape being a futile thing. Nope. Hey, you could hurt me doing that. That was the idea. It looks like a bundle of nerves with electrical current through them. Hmm. Electrical current? That sounds like something we might be able to use, but we'll have to do that in the next video.